Iranians are growing tired of the Ayatollahs and a nation led by the empty promises of their Islamic theocracy. An anonymous internal poll found that 80% now prefer a democratic government, and many are leaving Islam. You have a country with one of the highest drug addiction rates in the world. You have a country where corruption runs rampant. You have a country where more than half the people live below the poverty line. And the people of Iran are looking at this and they're saying, wait a minute, if this is what Islam has brought us in the last 45 years, we're not interested. We want to know what the other options are. According to Todd Nettleton of The Voice of the Martyrs, the faith option many are choosing is Jesus, with at least a million Muslims reportedly leaving Islam for Christianity. How's the regime reacting to this? We've heard 50,000 of 75,000 mosques have closed, and I'm sure they aren't accepting that very well. This is not something that is making the regime happy, and uh, really in many ways they are seeking to solidify their power and to crush any kind of dissent. And, and they certainly see the growth of the church, they certainly see Christian evangelism as a form of dissent. We have heard multiple stories this year of uh, a Bible study, a home church being raided. Everyone there is photographed, everyone there is questioned, but then the leader of the meeting is held onto. They are arrested, they are detained, they're put in prison. Moreover, Nettleton contends family members and friends are more tolerant than the government about leaving Islam. They are kind of have the attitude of, hey, if, if you found something that works for you, if it's Jesus or if it's atheism or if it's whatever, if it works for you, I know Islam doesn't work, so I, I'm happy you found something that works. Well, I think it's what's happening there is actually representative of what's happening in, in the Islamic world. Don Schenk serves as executive director of the Tide Ministry. He explains how Muslims are experiencing dreams and visions, leading many to find purpose and a different understanding of God. We get responses from listeners who say, you know, now I, I understand that God loves me. I always thought that God wanted to punish me. And I think there's, there's a, a, an awakening, as I said, that, that's taking place across the Muslim world. Schenk states that Tide Ministry radio broadcasts are receiving positive responses in Afghanistan, where the Taliban pose great danger for those seeking information from secret Christians within the country. There's a lot of suspicion of, okay, if I'm going to meet with these people and share that I'm now a believer, are they really true believers? Or are they um, just trying to identify me? It's more than simply being ostracized or disowned by your family, it is actually the threat of death. So accepting new life in Christ means accepting the possibility of your life ending in this world. Christianity is also spreading in Yemen, where the Joshua Project reports Christian growth is almost double the global average. Next door, Nettleton sees the Saudi Arabian monarchy becoming a bit more tolerant of Christians and their churches. Not necessarily welcoming it with open arms, obviously, uh, but just the understanding that, that it could happen, that there could be Christians here, and, and maybe that's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, that's such a change from what we would have seen 10 or 15 or 20 years ago. A move of God's Spirit bringing change that may eventually transform not only Iran, but the entire Middle East. Gary Lane, CBN News.